Hey guys, Kelly Fab here. <laughs> so today is a different day. I did blushes and bronzers on one day and I am doing these today. These are all of my highlighters. This is by far, <laughs> obviously, my biggest collection yet of anything. Um, and by the way, I do want to show you some of these palettes. Kitty Cat's going to come and hang out with us and walk on everything. Um, some of these palettes do have blushes and bronzers in them, ones that I did not mention previously. So I will mention those and I will put those in my numbers for my blushes and bronzers just simply because I haven't looked at this palette in a hot minute and I thought this was like an all highlighter palette. So anyways, we are going to just go with it and just go... Um, I did swatch a few. There's no way I'm going to be able to swatch <laughs> all of them simply because there is just way too much here and I do want to be able to show you them and like name them off to you. So yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming for me to see all of these and like to see how much I really have. It's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> Um, so let's just get started. Kitty Cat is giving me kisses, by the way. Thank you, Mantis. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started and show you guys everything that I have, which is a lot. So I guess I'm gonna start with the palettes and I'm gonna kind of take things out of here <laughs> as I go. Um, I have this big Victoria's Secret bag that I got for free at some point. Um, I'm actually going to put all my highlighters in there because I do need to put these all in my worksheet and figure out what I'm doing. I do know I am going to get rid of one of them. I'm going to get rid of this Laura Geller um, High Def Glow Illuminator Duo in Heart of Gold. There's a Shimmer and Sparkle. So this one's Sparkle, this one's Shimmer. Yeah, yes. Shimmer, Sparkle. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't like this shade at all. And I have a million of these like goldy um, type of highlighters. So I'm going to get rid of this one and put it in my friend box. I did just buy this one at TJ Maxx, by the way. So I'm not too sad about it. It was only five bucks. Whatever. It's out. Okay. Oh my God. You know what? I'm going to start with what's closest to me because there is just too much. So first of all, I have my, probably my most expensive highlighter I own. This is the YSL. This is the Touche Clot Lumiere Divine Highlighter, or Illuminator technically. And it is just such a luxe highlighter. I love it so much. It is such a subtle glow. It has a slightly pink tint to it. I absolutely love this highlighter. And it does come with a little powder puff, which I never use, but the packaging and like <laughs> this packet, like the velvet, you know, casing for it is just so luxe. I have to keep it in there. So obviously I'm going to be keeping everything unless I specifically say that I am getting rid of it for whatever reason. So this is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. Kathleen Lights actually raved about this one from her BoxyCharm. This is in Purple Dream, which it's not purple at all <laughs> um and i had a hard time like getting i don't i don't know how to get this like sticker off of here so i have to figure this out and figure out how to do it if you know how to get this off of here like an easy way let me know um but for some reason i just cannot figure this out so um but i am going to keep this for now i haven't tried it out i would like to try it out and see how it goes then one of my new purchases also from tj maxx this is the laura geller in um french vanilla and portofino i was actually just talking about this and i have been dying for this and i'm really happy to have it in my collection these are both urban decay sin this is a little baby sample and this was the birthday gift from last year i said i wasn't going to swatch everything i have to stop it um, but I want to use the sample first before I use the full size, so I love those. Okay, both of these Lorocs are in Starlight, but this one's my brand new one, so right there. And then this is the one that I've had, which looks darker to me, you guys. It looks darker and pinker and powderier. Yeah, this is. these are definitely different. I don't know how they named them both Starlight. They are different to me. But technically, they're both in Starlight, so... I don't know. I'm keeping them though. <laughs> then I have this Physician's Formula. What is this? Um, Nine Age Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Light Bronze Pearl. 
Um, I haven't used this in like a hot minute, but it's really nice for the summertime. So keeping that, this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. Everybody, you know, uses this as a highlighter. This is not a bronzer. <laughs> Then I have this Morphe. I think I got this in a boxy charm recently. This one's in the shade Extra. It's the High Impact Highlighters. This one's from Jouer. This is Citrine. You guys can tell it is quite messy. I have used it quite a bit. Love this one. Then I have my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. Absolutely love this one. I thought I was going to get rid of this. This is a very subtle glow. Love it. Then another subtle glow is this um, Physicians Formula Butter Blush. This is in the shade Natural Glow, and this one's definitely a pink toned highlighter. This is not a blush topper. This is not a blush, in my opinion, at all. This is a highlighter. I have apparently only two Becca highlighters. Oh, here's another one. I knew I had more. <laughs> okay. I have three Becca highlighters here. I have one full size in Champagne Pop. Everybody knows that color. This one is in Opal. And this one is in Moonstone. Yep, Moonstone. So I only have these three colors. I do like Becca, but I don't think it's the best highlighter ever, but I do love this formula, so yeah. Then I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in 01 Be My Highlight. Love this one for a nude glow. Then I have this House of Mirrors from ColourPop. This one's in Opening Act and Main Attraction. So Opening Act, Main Attraction. I have to add this to my bronzers. So I am actually going to set it outside of my little um, baggie that I'm putting everything in because I need to add this to my bronzer collection. Then I have this bronzer, supposed bronzer, in Tiki from Hard Candy. This is such a beautiful highlighter. Like, so, so pretty. Definitely not a bronzer, once again. I have these two from ColourPop. This one is in Bougie Call, right? Yeah, Bougie Call. This one is a more summery color for me. And this one is in Here Kitty Kitty. I love this one. This one's beautiful. Then I have this highlighter from Cover FX. This one I got recently on sale at Sephora. This one is in Sunlight. Absolutely love this one. I've been using this quite a bit. I have this new Sugar highlighter. I think this brand is Sugar. It's in Champagne Champion. Yep, Champagne Champion. And I'm not sure. I've never heard of this brand, but it was a... Um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus add-on for me, so I figured I would try it out and see if it's any good. Might as well. This one's from Ofra. I do have... I should do them all from Ofra, shouldn't I? Okay, and then I have one that actually broke from Ofra that is up there. I will add that in. Um, I just don't want to <laughs> right now. I don't want to grab it. So this one is in Rodeo Drive. Oh, this is the one I was gonna get rid of, right? Yeah, because I was gonna keep this little packaging. So I'm gonna get rid of this highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I don't need two of the exact same ones. It's a huge highlighter. I'm gonna pass this along. So two highlighters down. <laughs> but this one is in Rodeo Drive. This one's in Everglow. This is the Nikki Tutorials. Um, collab and this one is in Beverly Hills so I do use all of these these are all well loved but you know whatever this is my Laura Mercier this is highlight 01 I absolutely love this one this one's very dirty I also this is a baked highlighter one of my favorite um, very neutrally very subtle highlighters love this one then this is the Pure Afterglow Highlighter. I think this one is absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually going to keep this out because I am doing wedding makeup on my girlfriend in about a week. So I'm going to keep this one out. This is one I'm going to use for her for her wedding. I think this will be perfect for her. And then uh, I'm not going to go with palettes yet. I have a couple Wet n Wilds. These are in Golden Flower Crown which apparently I have not even opened yet. And this one is in Precious Petals. I should probably open the Golden Flower Crown, shouldn't I? Then I have this Tarte palette. This is Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle. This is the Double Duty Beauty Highlight and Contour palette. 
So the contour is here and the highlight is here. This is a beautiful color for contour for me. So I'm actually going to put this aside with this other House of Mirrors color because I need to add that into my bronzers as well. Um, okay, and then I have this MAC palette. This is the Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. And the highlighter is in Tutu. And then there's a blush in here from At Dusk. So I have that. I have used them both very well. And um, I'm going to keep this one out as well to put it in my blush collection. I have this MAC Extra Mineralize Skin Finish. I was going to say Extra Dimension, but that's not what this one is. This one is in Soft and Gentle. I had to have this one, and I'm so glad I have it. It's beautiful. Oh my god, my hands are getting so dirty. Let's finish with these little singles. I have this Pixie and Aspen Novard. Um, this is in Santorini Sunset. There was like the London Luster, but that one was like way too light for me. This one's perfect for me. That one was like for super, super light skin tones. This one is also by Pixie. This is the Blush Duo in Peach Honey. So there's that one. I actually tend to just rub it all together and use it as a blush topper or a like highlight blush combo. So I like that one as well. Then I have Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is like the typical Gilded Honey gold highlighter. It is very strong, but you can use a light hand. This is from e.l.f. This is Moonlight Pearls. I had this at one point and then I got rid of it and then I wanted it again. So I bought it at like TJ Maxx or something for a dollar. Okay, and then I have this NYX Illuminator. This is one of the newer ones in my collection. This is in Ritualistic, and it is beautiful. It has like a yellow shift to it, but it's like a very white toned highlighter, but that yellow shift just makes it amazing. Then I have this Ulta Illuminating Powder. This one is well loved. This is in Yellow Diamond. As you can tell, <laughs> it's very well loved in my collection. Um, it is the same as that NYX. It's like the very white powder with that yellowy kind of shift to it. Um, I really like these ones for my no makeup days. Those are beautiful. Then I have this Milani Strobe Light in Day Glow. This is the 02, so the second darkest shade. Beautiful. Then of course I have to have the Mary Luminizer. This one is here. This pan is kind of coming out of here, which drives me nuts. But whatever, you guys all know what Mary Luminizer looks like. And then I have three tarts. This is Exposed, this is the highlight. Love that, and these two are in Stunner. Oops, there's that. And then this is just a little sample guy in Stunner. I don't know, maybe I'll pass this one along. I'm not sure, somebody was talking about, they wanted to try the shadow. Was it Emily and Max? Emily, if you're watching this and you wanted to try Stunner from Tarte that was on your list, I think it was on your list of things that you've been wanting to try for a really long time. Emily, if you are listening, if you want this one, message me down below. I'll put it aside. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so those are the rest of the singles. And then I have this ColourPop in Dreamcatcher. This was one of the only ColourPop, oh my god, it's so white, it's so like soft still. It's such a beautiful highlight, I love this one. Okay, so those are all the rest of the singles. Let's go on with palettes. First palette is Urban Decay Afterglow palette. I got this on Holt Look maybe? Um, it's just got four highlighters, different shades. Haven't really used it much, I will though. Cover FX, I got this one on sale. This is in Celestial and Moonlight. So, ooh, you can see that it's kind of like watering because it gets hot. But these are the cream shades. Oh my god, they are gorgeous. These cream shades up here are amazing. And then these are the two powder shades. I need to uh, bring this out. I think I'm going to bring this one out. Um, okay, so then I have this Melee. And this is Sunkissed Bronzer, supposedly. But it has like contour shades, it has bronzer shades, it has blush topper shades, and it has highlights. So 
I was gonna kind of put this in every area. I really like using it. I have no issues using it, except for it's just kind of weird to use, like as you can tell. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm or Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, one of the two. Um, it's very weird to use, but I really like it. So I'm definitely keeping this, and then I'll put this aside to add, you know, I'll probably won't add, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna put this aside. So I have this Radiant Glow Palette by IBY Beauty. I kind of touched on this earlier. I have four highlight shades in here, one blush shade and one bronzer shade. So I'm gonna also put this one aside to add to my other areas of my life. Okay, and then I have this Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette from Makeup Geek. Oh my God, this is a well-loved highlighter palette. It doesn't look like it, you guys. It looks like I've barely touched it, <laughs> but I, love this highlighter palette so um definitely definitely keeping that one i'm not like really getting rid of things let's be real this is the smashbox spotlight palette in pearl i have i literally just took this one out of the box from the ulta 21 days of beauty sale so this one is brand new then I have this Pure Elevation palette. I absolutely love this thing. It came with a little brush too, but these three shades are just so different and unique, especially this middle one, Altitude. This is my favorite shade. Like it's just, it's so unique. It's like that pearly toned highlighter with that yellow shift, but then it has like the shift of pink and blue in there as well. It's just so unique. I love using that one. I always get compliments whenever I use that one. So yeah. And then I have, let's wipe off my hands, just a, just a wee bit. Oh my God, I am glowing. Okay, then I have this ColourPop in Nude Endo. This is a six pan palette. It has all highlighters. I have clearly never used it. I've only swatched this one apparently. So I need to really get on with using some of these highlighters. I tend to stick to one specific highlighter and I get obsessed with it. Um, then I have this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This one is in Sun Dipped. So this one is my most well-loved <laughs> highlight palette, as you can tell. It's, uh, it's been through the ringer quite a bit. It's a bit messy, clearly. I need to clean it up, and it's been dropped. Uh, probably about a hundred times because I use it everywhere. <laughs> I use Moonstone the most clearly as you can tell from the humongous dip. I'm probably going to be hitting pan here very soon in that one. Um, summer as well. Bronzed I typically use in the like heat of the summer. Um, and then Tourmaline is just so different. It's like a purple toned highlighter. It's just the most different color I've ever seen. I really like that one. So Yes, this one is a very well-loved palette. It is quite a mess, but I love it. The one that I'm working on this year is the Vintage by Jessica Liebeskind. I'm actually working on the Rose Quartz color, but there's also Chocolate Diamond in here as well. I'm gonna be hitting pan very, very soon on this one, and once I do, I'm gonna roll this one out and pick out a different highlighter palette to start working on, but yeah, I've been really focusing on that one. Then I have this Wondrous Beauty or Wonder Beauty Wondrous Dusk to Dawn palette. This is a blush and highlighter palette. I did show you guys this in my blush collection, but there is a highlighter in here called City Lights. So yes, this one is going to stay out for being in both. Then I have this new palette from Kevin Aquan. This was from TJ Maxx and this is in Sahara. So this is like that gradient one from darker to pinky toned to light champagne tone. Excited about this one. Then I have my Sephora uh, ColourPop Double Play Palette. You guys saw this one in my blush collection as well. This one has the highlighter in here called Who Knows because it doesn't say. Oh, here it is. Um, the highlighter is patted down, the blush is getting handsy, so that's probably why I kept it in the packaging. Beautiful highlighter, I love, love, love this. I wish they would keep this as a permanent staple in their collection, but, you know. I also got this one from TJ Maxx, this is from MAC, this is the Hyper Real Glow. I kept this little pamphlet because it has the colors, so it has Flash and Awe, Rosy Glow, and Light of the Party, so. This one is beautiful. 
Then you guys saw this in my bronzer. This is the Pure Sculptor palette. This has two highlighters in it, Originator and Trailblazer. So I think I'm going to actually keep this in my highlighter jar for now. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't have enough. I don't have very many bronzers, so it might have to go in the bronzer drawer just for space wise. All right, and then I have my Becca and Chrissy Teigen. This has two highlighters in here, these two big pans. So yeah, did I have to show this in my bronzer one too? I don't remember. Anyways, it has two highlighters in rose gold and beach nectar. So definitely excited about that one. Then the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This one also has two highlighters in it in Satin Sheets and Starlight. This is a like a pinky tone shift and this one has like a green yellow tone shift. Very interesting. Sorry if I'm blinding you with this. I'm not really looking up to see what's going on. <laughs> and then I have my Smashbox Cali Contour Palette and this one is Technically, these two are highlighters. This one I would probably never use as a highlighter. It is way too dark. This one I definitely could use as a highlighter. But then it also has this light, um, like face powder type shade in here. It's like a banana, banana y type shade. I could definitely use that as well. Hello, kitty. Thank you for coming to visit again. And then I have my three hourglass palettes. Oh, let's see. This one has two highlighters, or no, one highlighter, metallic strobe power in powder in champagne strobe light, and that is right here. Beautiful. Oh, so gorgeous. Mantis, you are just something else. Here, you want some highlighter on you? It's a good kitty. <laughs> Make a good kitty. Oh my god, you totally have highlighter all over you. <laughs> he is the star of the show. Just so you guys know. Huh. I didn't realize he was even in here when I closed the door, but whatever. This is my most loved hourglass palette. This one has the strobe powder in hypnotic strobe light, which is right here. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I don't think I've ever actually used that. Um, and then it has two finishing powders. And then this one is the one from last year, and it has one strobe powder in Euphoric Strobe Light, and that is this one right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And then these two are finishing powders, so super excited about those. Okay, now, oh my god, you guys, I am so glad I am like putting these away as I'm going because this is stressful. Okay, so we have a ton of liquid highlighters in these ones specifically I do want to swatch all of them to make sure that they are still good it's except for this one I know this one is so good I've been using this one this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone I am almost done with this little sample guy I do have one more of these which I have no idea where I put it but nonetheless um, I'm gonna finish this one here very soon where did I put that one it's somewhere whatever and then I have this Tristique mini highlighter stick in Maldives Luminescent. I am using this one currently as well. And this one is in, is it in my A to Z project pan, I believe? Probably. Something like that. I did swatch this one a minute ago. It's very, very watery. But it's the Laura Geller Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops. This one would be perfect for like before your foundation if you have a really matte foundation. Um, and to give you a little bit of extra warmth and um, like sunlit glow to your skin. I really think this one's going to be gorgeous for that. And this one is in Gilded Honey and it does say Shake Well. So I would say Shake Well before every application. Um, and I would say to squeeze this and kind of mix it up in the dropper as well. So yeah, <laughs> this one's from Tarte. This is the Gleam Team Highlighter. And this is the cream side and this is the liquid side. This is in the shade Champagne. So let's see. Clearly, I have not even swatched this. Oh, that is gorgeous. Why have I not used this? That's probably why I kept it. And then I want to swatch this liquid side. I do need to use this one up relatively soon. I'm sure of it. Okay, so those both felt really, really good. I definitely think those are both perfectly fine, and I'm actually excited to use that. 
And then I have this So Susan Dream Maker Light Shifting Highlighting Cream in Mirage. I have not tried this yet. I just recently got it in a box. And let's swatch it and see if it's something I want to keep. Oh my god, that is... Whoa, do you guys see that blue shift? Look at that. Holy crap. I hope you guys are seeing that on camera. That is so crazy. It's like nothing there, and then it like shifts to blue, and then there's like nothing. Huh. That's really cool. Okay, that's really cool. So this is the Dandelion Shy Beam. I am keeping this one. I did swatch this one already. It's a very, like, it says it's a matte highlighter, and that's exactly what it is. It brightens the skin without being shimmery, and it is a very, very matte finish. So keeping that one. This is the Clinique Chubby, Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlighter in Hefty Highlight. I feel like this one was in one of my things. Oh, this one's really pretty. I haven't really worn that, so keeping that one. And then the Tartiest Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter in Sparkler. I think I did swatch this one. It's a bit dark. So this will have to be a summer highlight. Or a summer like under foundation highlight. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Keeping that one. And then this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Prosecco Pop. I got this one in a boxy charm, and I was so sad when I did not get the Prosecco Pop pressed because there was the poured, pressed, and the liquid. And of course, the one that I didn't want specifically was the liquid. But I think that is beautiful and I can definitely make that work, especially because I've been using liquid highlighters more often. So the problem with this container, though, is that so much product comes out of it that it's hard to kind of control. Like even right there, I just wanted a tiny little swatch and I got a huge amount. So I'm going to have to I think I'm going to put this into this little container when this one is gone so that I can actually use this one because this one is just there's so much product I don't want to be you know yellow glow <laughs> you know what I mean okay guys so this is a little bonus that I'm going to add into all of my videos at the very end I'm going to show you me filling the drawer that I'm going to fill with the products so this used to be full of lip glosses this one at the very top is still full with lipsticks the lip glosses, I have changed their location, so we have an empty drawer here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put bronzers, blushes, or highlights in here. I'm not sure yet. But then I have an empty drawer here for the other, and an empty drawer here. So bronzers, blushes, and highlights are going to go between these three drawers. And then this bottom drawer, I have single shadows. I'm also going to put my single, oh, you guys can't really see it. Um, it's down here. Um, I'm going to put my single eyeshadow palettes with singles in it as well. So we're going to start with this top drawer. I think I'm going to put highlighters in here just to kind of switch it up a little bit and make it a little bit different so I have something different to look at. Okay, so I was going to count all of them, put them in a spreadsheet, whatever. I am just getting way too overwhelmed looking at that, and I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to start putting them in, and here we go. So I think I want to get a couple more of, oops, sorry, a couple more of these little highlighter type bins. I have this one that had face powders in it, and I think I'm going to use that as well. Okay, you guys, I don't know if I'm totally happy with this yet. Um, I'm going to leave it for right now. And yeah, I think I'm good with this for just right now. I'm a little overwhelmed. I don't quite know how I want to organize this. I don't know. But I feel like there's so much wasted space back there that I can't get to. That's the only thing I don't like about these Alex 9 drawers is that they don't pull all the way out. So you don't get the full access of everything that's in there. So I'm going to go on to the next drawer and yeah. Well, now that you guys have been thoroughly entertained by me and my highlighters and Mantis that came to lay on the blanket in front of the 
air conditioning. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If there was anything that you guys specifically want to see on my face or swatched, like next to each other, anything like that, please let me know. I would love to do that for you guys. And I, you know, I love this kind of stuff. It's so much fun to me and going through all of my things and double checking everything and just looking at things that I have really reminds me that I don't need to go shopping anymore. Hello. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. Say bye. He's purring.